Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a maintenance day. I just woke up, so we're gonna jump straight into it. So this morning, I did notice that my skin was looking really dull, my hyperpigmentation was visible, and I haven't exfoliated in a hot minute. So to combat all that, I'm going to dermaplane. But first, I'm gonna get my hair out the way. I picked up this cute headband that I like to wear to protect my baby hairs. Another thing I like to do first is to use my tweezers to pluck out my chin hairs. And I know I'm not the only one that got chin hairs. I'm not afraid to admit it. So we are gonna rectify that now and I'm going to pluck them out. And one word of advice for all you girls is to never shave your chin hairs, okay? Always, always, always use tweezers to pluck out your chin hairs. So moving on to my dermaplaning, this is the razor that I like to use. And I'm also going to apply a face cream all over my skin to ensure that I have a close and smooth shave. Most people like to use an oil to dermaplane their skin, but I don't know, for me personally, I find that a cream just glides and works better on my skin. So I did mention this to you guys in a previous video of mine and y'all I love to dermaplane my skin. It has so many great benefits to it. It helps to exfoliate the skin. It helps to reduce the appearance of hyperpigmentation. It helps to remove unwanted facial hair on your skin. So many other benefits but I like to do this about once a month. I don't like to do it any sooner than that or too often so that I don't irritate my skin. So once a month has been working pretty well for me and I know a lot of people say to go to an esthetician to get this professionally done but I personally haven't had any bad experiences from dermaplaning. This is honestly something that I've been doing for years and I just love how my skin looks afterwards. I have a nice glow. My skin looks really smooth and also it helps for your makeup to look flawless. But you want to make sure to give your skin at least 24 hours before you apply any makeup. So as y'all can see, I'm doing my entire face because I have a lot of thin facial hair on my skin. So I get in everywhere. I get in my cheeks, my chin, my upper lip, my forehead. I also like to get in between my unibrow. And I just really love how my skin feels afterwards. And when I do this, I am really gentle on the skin. You don't want to tug and pull the skin too hard or apply too much pressure while dermaplaning. So me, I like to just slightly pull the skin taut and gently dermaplane my skin. And you want to always shave in a downwards motion never shave upwards and also i would highly recommend this for beginners don't use a razor blade that is too sharp the razor that i'm using is actually really really delicate it's not razor blade sharp so this is really going to help to avoid any accidents on the skin so this is the amount of hair that came off my skin and y'all you know, I already told you guys I have a lot of facial hair on my skin but afterwards it left my skin feeling so soft and it gave it a nice radiant glow. So next of course we have to tend to the skin post shave and I've recently picked up some new skincare products by Fresh. Big shout out to Fresh. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video and working with me. So first I'm going to start off with my soy face cleanser and here's a quick close up shot of the product. It has a really nice gel like consistency to it and this is just the perfect cleanser for the skin especially when you're done dermaplaning because you do not want to apply any harsh products that's going to further irritate your skin so I like to take a generous amount of the cleanser and just gently apply onto my skin and for me I like to follow the one minute rule so I like to cleanse my skin for at least one minute I feel like that rule of thumb is really effective onto the skin so besides the fact that I really like this product I also would highly recommend this especially for people with sensitive skin because it is really gentle and in all it is really ideal for all skin types 
types but especially if you have sensitive skin this is just so gentle and delicate on the skin So next, I'm going to follow up with my Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. And for those of you who know, I have been rocking with this toner for years, okay? It is such a good product. And I just like to use my hands to apply this toner. And I apply a generous amount of this, y'all, all over my face and neck. And overall, I just love the hydration that this toner provides. And it also works effectively to remove impurities and give the skin a soft finish. Moving on, I'm also going to follow up with my Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. And using my hands, I'm also going to apply a generous amount of this serum all over my face and neck. After dimmer planing, y'all, it is so important to apply that moisture and hydration back to the skin. So my skin needs all the moisture and hydration that it could get, okay? And this serum provides it. And I really love its liquidy form. I've never used a serum before in a liquid form until I started using this. And I really like its lightweight formula. And it is honestly the perfect balance of hydration and nourishment and to get that extra hydration i'm also going to apply my rose deep hydration balancing emulsion so this is actually a new item in their collection and let me tell y'all this is it okay it has a super lightweight formula and a fast absorbing milky formula which helps to hydrate the skin from within even texture reduce visible pores and plump any dry lines overall y'all this item just feels so luxurious on the skin and some of its key ingredients include dem mask rose extract rose water and rose fertile oil to help nourish hydrate and soften the skin And to top everything off, I'm going to apply my Rose Deep Hydration Sleeping Mask. This is actually a two-step mask. So step one is a gel-like cooling essence. And when you apply it onto the skin, it's going to instantly provide that moisture and hydration. And it's also gonna give you a nice cooling effect. So using my applicator brush, I'm going to apply a generous amount of this mask all over my skin. And y'all, I just love that cooling sensation that this provides i also let it sit for a few minutes give the product some time to absorb and to lock in that moisture i'm going to follow up with step two which is a silky water cream mask and y'all once you apply these two products together especially at nighttime you are going to wake up to supple smooth dewy skin okay this mask is truly next level and it is also infused with dem mask rose extract rose water and hyaluronic acid to provide a soothing and hydrating finish on the skin and of course we cannot forget about the lips so I'm going to finish it off with my sugar lip treatment and I got mine in the shade rose and first off I also like its subtle red tint that it leaves and it also left my lips feeling pillowy soft and moisturized all right, so that is it for my skincare and just get into the skin, honey. Like, look at the glow. Ugh, it is giving hydration. It is giving nourished skin, okay? And they're actually having a summer sale happening from June the 21st to June the 30th, and it is 30% site-wide. So this is the perfect time to splurge and get some fresh skincare products. And if you spend over $125, you will get a five-piece gift. So I'm going to leave all the information down below, so be sure to check out my description. And once again, thank you so much to Fresh for working with me on this video. All right, y'all, so now that I'm done with my skincare, it is finally time for me to hop into the shower. And if you guys would like to see a more full and in-depth video of my shower routine, be sure to check out my everyday shower routine. I will make sure to link it up top and in my description area below. But yeah, in this segment, I'm just briefly going over everything that I used and I'm using a lot of my favorite shower and body care products. And a lot of these products that I show here, I did mention in my everyday shower routine. So like I said, be sure to check it out. And when it comes to my self care routine, being in the shower is one of my favorite parts, okay? If I didn't have to worry about paying my water bill, 
I would literally be in the shower for hours at a time. All right. Like I just love being in there. It's just a perfect time for me to meditate and reflect on my thoughts and just give gratitude. So I could be in there literally all day. But anyway, y'all, I'm just going to let you guys watch this portion of the video and enjoy the vibes. So moving on, I actually have a hair appointment to get to one time. But first, before I leave the house, I'm just going to make a quick ice matcha. And one of my favorite ways that I've been loving my ice matcha is to add strawberries into it, y'all. If you haven't tried strawberries in your ice matcha, you are missing out out okay i actually first came across this on tiktok all i do is just chop up some strawberries add a little bit of almond milk blend it up and i just add it in together with my ice matcha and it is so good y'all and for those of you wondering i did purchase my matcha from costco and this matcha powder is cool it's okay but if you guys have any other suggestions on a really good matcha powder let your girl know down in the comment section below but for the time being this matcha powder gets the job done and once i put it together it tastes pretty damn good and I forgot to add this in the video, but I also like to add French vanilla creamer to my ice matcha as well, just to give it a little bit more sweetness. And it just tastes so bomb once I put everything together. But anyway, y'all, I had a nail appointment to make first, so I'm gonna grab my ice matcha to go. Trips that you plan for the next whole week Bands too long for a nigga so cheap And your flex so deep, your sex so deep You got it, girl, you got it You got it, girl, you got it Yeah, yeah Pretty little thing, you got a bag and now you wildin' You just took it off the line, no mileage Where they getting you to DM looking violent Talking while you come around and not in all right y'all so my nail appointment is complete i got the fresh white toes and i actually had a nail appointment that following week for my actual nails that i did not get to show in the video but at least my toes are on point in this video but anyway y'all next i have my hair appointment to make it to and this is my good old cap that i use when my hair is looking dusty underneath and thank God your girl made it to her hair appointment on time, okay? Because you know these hairstylists, once you're like 5-10 minutes late, then you are out of luck. <laughs> okay, but anyway y'all, the hairstyle that I was going for today was a half up, half down quick weave with a fishtail braid in the back. And y'all, this came out so cute. Y'all gonna see in the end, but y'all she did that all right and i'm gonna leave her information down below if any of you guys are in the central florida area i would highly recommend that you hit her up her name is x slay by dre and y'all she is going to slay your hair and she could pretty much do anything whatever it is whether it's quick weave leave-in wig installation whatever she got you all right so i would highly recommend check her out if you in the orlando area slash central florida area so this is how the hair came out super cute 
Ah, uh, she did that for real. She really killed this hairstyle. Ah, uh, I was just so in love with this hairstyle. But anyway, y'all, you know your girl, she was in the chair for a couple of hours, okay? So I was starving. So next, I just went to grab some sushi with some of my family. And I went to Dragonfly. It's a really nice sushi restaurant in Orlando. And y'all, your girl was hungry. So first, I started off with some sake. I love me some hot sake. Then after that, y'all, me and my family, we went to town. We pretty much ordered everything off of the menu. We got some sushi. We got lobster roll, black dragon roll. And I also ordered shrimp bao buns. And y'all, this spot is 10 out of 10. Everything was just so good. I was tearing that food up, as y'all can see. So after the sushi restaurant, to end the night, we all went to the movie theater. And we went to go see the latest Fast and the Furious child. I don't remember which number. I think it was Fast and the Furious number 10. Child, they just came out with so many at this point. I lost count. But surprisingly, this movie was actually quite good. I was really entertained. And that is pretty much it, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching my maintenance vlog. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe to my channel before you guys leave. Thumbs up this video, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.